So you've probably heard of Wordle by now. Practically everybody's been playing it for the past few months, and the New York Times bought it for a low 7 figures a few weeks ago. I thought it'd be a fun project to build in Flutter, so let's get into it. I'm going to make this as beginner friendly as possible, which means we'll be using set state for this project. That also means we won't be using block for state management. If you're interested in learning that, courses, as always, are at launchclub.io. If you've never played Wordle before, and I highly recommend you do, this is how it works. You have six guesses to guess a five letter word. When you guess a letter that's in the correct position, it turns green. A letter in the word, but in the wrong position, is yellow. And a letter not in the word at all is gray. As you guess words, the keyboard UI updates accordingly to show the current guess state of each letter. If you guess a word that doesn't exist, then an error message appears. In a new Flutter project, let's head over to the pubspec.yaml and add two packages, Equatable for data class comparison, and Flipcard for the tile flip animation. To kick off our folder structure, let's start by creating an app folder to house our material app in a stateless widget called app. Our theme data is set to themedata.dark, and our scaffold background color is black. Home is set to Wordle screen, which we'll create in a bit. Inside of main.dart, we can import app.dart and pass app into run app. Our color palette is going to be pretty simple. In app colors.dart, we have three different tile colors, green for correct, yellow for inward, and gray for not in Word. The rest of our files are going to live inside of a folder called Wordle because we're building the Wordle feature. Here we have four folders, data for our word list, model for our data models, views for our screens, and widgets for general UI components. We also have a wordle.dart barrel file to export all the files nested inside of the folders to make it easy to import multiple files from our Wordle feature folder. Note that it'll look like this by the end of the video and remember to export each file as you code along. First, let's create lettermodel.dart with class letter that extends equatable. Letter is an individual cell in our board. A list of letters is considered a word. Letter has string val, short for value, to store the letter string, and a letter status with initial, not in word, in word, and correct. By default, status is letter status that initial, and we'll have a factory constructor to make an empty letter to populate the initial state of the board. Next, we have getters for the background color and border color, so we can easily show the proper color for each letter based on their letter status. Then we have a copy width for returning a copy of a letter as letter is immutable, and a props getter to compare val and status during equality checks. Moving on, we have our word model, which has a list of letters. To make it easy to convert regular strings into a word, the from string factory constructor splits strings into a list and maps each element to a letter. To get the string version of a word, we have word string that joins the string value of each letter. When we want to add a letter to our word, we have to get the current index, aka the first index of an empty string. We can update our letters list directly, setting a letter at the proper position. For removing a letter, we have to get the index of the most recent letter, aka the last index that is not an empty string. Then we set the letter at the position to an empty letter. And don't forget to add props. Wordle screen is a stateful widget that handles the game state of our application. We can start by creating an enum called game status to handle the different states of our game. For our board, it's a list of six words because we have six guesses, so we can use list.generate to generate that. To keep track of which guess we're currently on, we need an index. And to make it simple to get the current guess, we can make a getter that returns the word or null if we're out of range. Finally, we need to add a solution word which we'll initialize by grabbing a random string from a new file called wordlist. This is a list of five letter words, and ideally you should have a ton of words here to verify that guesses are valid. Let's add a scaffold with an app bar, and the title is a text widget with Wordle. The body is a column where the first widget is a custom widget called board that takes in our list of words. Board is a stateless widget that maps each word into a row of board tiles. Since we have six words, we're going to have six rows in our column. Each board tile is a container widget with some margin, height, width, alignment, and decoration. The child of the container is a text widget displaying the letter value. It's time to move on to adding a custom keyboard to our app to enable users to enter letters, delete letters, and submit guesses. In keyboard.dart, create a private variable QWERTY. Each row is a row on the keyboard. The keyboard widget has three callbacks. On key tapped, 
on Enter tapped, and on Delete tapped. In a column widget, we map each key row into individual keyboard buttons. Since keyboard buttons are only used in this file, we'll make the class private. We want height, width, on tap, background color, and letter to be customizable. Because the delete and enter keys are unique compared to a normal letter key, we can use factory constructors to easily create consistent versions of both of these buttons. In the build method, we have a padding, wrapping material, and ink wall widgets to get a nice bloom effect when pressing on the buttons. The letter string is displayed inside of a container and text widget. Back in Wordle screen, we can now add our new keyboard to the column widget. On key tapped takes a string, checks if the game status is playing, and adds a letter to the word. Remember to call set state to rebuild the UI. On delete tapped also checks if the game status is playing and removes the letter from the word. We can now add and remove letters from words. For on enter tapped, we have to make sure that we're in a playing status and the word has no empty letters. We immediately set game status to game status submitting to prevent users from spamming the enter button. In order to compare the submitted word with the solution, we'll use a for loop and iterate over both the current word and solution. Our goal is to update the letter status of the current word's letters. For this project, we're going to keep this logic super simple. It does have an issue though, where if a guessed letter is used multiple times and is present in the solution, it will be considered as in the word multiple times. But this is what we're going to go with to save time. If the current word letter and current solution letter are equal, then update the status to correct. If the solution contains the current word letter, then update the status to in word. And if neither of these cases are true, we know that the letter is not in the solution, so we can update the status to not in word. From here, we call a private method check if win or loss to check if the user has won or lost by comparing the current word and solution word strings and changing the game status accordingly. For each scenario, let's show an undismissible snack bar with content. Both snack bars will call a restart method. Don't forget to set game status back to playing if the user hasn't won or lost yet and increment the current word index by one. Resetting the game means that we have to reset all of our state variables back to their initial states. Set solution to a new random word. In Wordle, our keyboard keys need to change color based on their letter status. We'll keep track of our letters in a set called keyboard letters. Pass keyboard letters into keyboard. Then grab the current letter and change the background color accordingly. We add letters to keyboard letters inside on enter tapped. If the existing letter in keyboard letters isn't letter status dot correct already, then we update the keyboard state. Inside restart, we can call keyboard letters dot clear. All right, our Wordle clone functionality is basically done. We just need to flip each board tile after entering a guess. To do this, create flip card keys, which is a list of lists of global key flip card state. Board takes in flip card keys, and we can convert board and word to a map to get access to the index when mapping. Wrap the row in a map entry and wrap board tile in map entry. Add dot values before each dot to list to return the widgets. To flip the board tile when the state changes, wrap it in a flip card widget, passing in the proper key, setting flip on touch to false, direction to vertical, and then the front to a board tile with an initial letter, and back to board tile. Now our cards don't actually flip yet, and that's because we have yet to call toggle card on each key. Let's make on enter tapped asynchronous, and after each word's letter status is updated, flip the card after 150 milliseconds. Inside restart, reset flip card keys to its initial state. And now we're all done with our Wordle clone. The best part is that it works on web, mobile, and desktop without any additional effort. If you enjoy videos like this, remember to leave a like and subscribe. For full step-by-step -step Flutter courses, check out launchclub.io. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.